let's learn how a speedometer works with the help of this animation. Let's identify the components. Dial in yellow, pointer, hairspring, spindle, stationary field plate, it is in red, speed cup, which is in blue, magnet, which is in green. Now let's see how speedometer works. So first let's learn the arrangement of components. A well balanced speed cup which is in blue is supported by a permanent magnet which is in green as you can see there in the video. Okay there you can see it. The spindle is linked with the speed cup which is in blue. So there it can be clearly seen. The spindle is linked with a pointer or a needle at the dial. So here the spindle is connected with the pointer or the needle at the dial. The magnet gets its drive from the vehicle's transmission through a flexible coupling. So you can see the vehicle transmission is been indicated there and there is a connection coming from the vehicle transmission towards the magnet. So the magnet gets its drive from the vehicle's transmission. So the magnet will be rotating at the same speed coming from the vehicle transmission. That means it will rotate in the vehicle speed. Therefore, the speed of the permanent magnet will be equal to the speed of the vehicle. Right, so that's a permanent magnet which is in green. As the magnet rotates, it produces a magnetic field which exerts a torque on the speed cup which is in blue. So here you can see as the drive comes from the vehicle transmission, the magnet starts to rotate. And as it rotates, it creates a magnetic field around it. And due to this magnetic field, you can see there is a torque generated on the speed cup and the speed cup starts to rotate, right? The speed cup does not have a mechanical connection with the magnet. That's very important. It rotates just because of the magnetic field and it does not have a mechanical linkage with the magnet. Now let's see the working once more. As the vehicle moves, as I told, the magnet starts to rotate at the speed proportional to the vehicle speed and this produces a magnetic field resulting in the rotation of the speed cup which is in blue. As the spindle is connected to the speed cup, it also rotates resulting in the rotation of the needle or the pointer on its top. This needle on the top of the spindle indicates the vehicle speed. You can see in the needle moves and it indicates the vehicle speed. And let's see the function of the hairspring over there. The function of the hairspring is to control and limit the movement of the needle and also to bring back the needle to zero as the vehicle stops. You can see the uh, spring, that's the hairspring is getting energized as the needle moves and it controls and limits the movement which indicates the correct speed on the dial. So this is how simply a speedometer works. I believe you understand it's working in this animation. Please click the subscribe button for updates and tutorial videos like comment share to motivate our team because we are taking a lot of effort in making this tutorial videos please visit our website techtricksinfo.com or our youtube channel youtube.com oblique techtricksinfo for more tutorial content thanks for watching this video have a great day